Welcome, let's discuss the idea of having two tangent lines in one circle. Let's start by drawing one tangent line in the circle. And let's consider this point of tangency right here. Let's call it R. Let's consider a second tangent line that will intersect the first tangent line as well. Let's call this point of tangency S. And the intersection between those two tangent lines Let's call it T. When we encounter this situation, there's a property that will always be true. If we consider the point where both tangent lines intersect, this point will be equidistant to both points of tangency. In other words, these two yellow line segments will always be congruent to each other. But why is this property useful? If we connect the points of tangency, notice that we're going to end up with an isosceles triangle. These two sides are equivalent to each other. And then we just got the third side in our triangle. Now let's explain why this property is true. So let's say that we are given two tangent lines where the points of tangency is R and S and the point of intersection, let's call it T. If we consider the center of our circle, let's call it T, we have mentioned before that the radius towards the point of tangency it's always perpendicular. So the same scenario if we connect C to R. In addition, SC and CR are both the radius of the circle. They are congruent to each other. But what if we consider a line that connects the center of the circle to point T? Then we have created two triangles. The triangle on the left and the triangle to the right. And both triangles share the same side CT. So let's say that CT is congruent to itself by the reflexive property. Now we can claim that both of those triangles are congruent to each other. They both are 90 degrees. They both have a congruent leg. And the hypotenuse of the triangle on the right, it is congruent to the hypotenuse on the triangle on the left because it's the same side. Then by the hypotenuse leg theorem, we can claim that both of those triangles are congruent to each other. And because both of those triangles are congruent to each other, then corresponding parts are congruent to each other. Therefore, ST is congruent to TR. And we are done, because this is what we wanted to show. We wanted to show that the length of the point of tangency to the point of intersections is of same length, congruent to each other. Hello. If you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.